good morning I just got back from a really good run and a walk with Olive so I think today I'm gonna finish putting my butter lettuce in their containers and I'm gonna put some peppers up I might roast some um, definitely gonna slice and freeze some so I'll film some of that today and show you what I do it's really simple it's nothing super special um, but maybe it's something you haven't done before a lot of this stuff I uh, learn as I go or I see ideas on YouTube and Instagram from a lot of my gardener friends from um, across the world it's kind of cool to see that but anyway just wanted to say good morning and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video Today is chest mount GoPro. We're gonna see if this works better than the head mounted. Cause let me tell you, that was tough. All I'm doing right now is just going to water some stuff and feed some stuff. And then if you can see that, not organic gardening here. This is some miracle grow. This stuff is magical. I do it like once a week. Um, for my for my plants. And Olive, of course, is going crazy. Olive, hey, come here. Olive, Olive. This thing right here is a miracle. It saves me like a million trips back and forth with a watering can just to use this on the water hose. It is beautiful. Olive, cheese, and rice, girl. Sorry, y'all. She'll chill in a minute. The neighbors are outside. Olive, hey. Get it together. You stop. Cut it out. Cut it out means go do more. But anyway, I love this because you can fill it. And it measures here how many square feet you're going to be watering. Um, I don't really go by that. Um, I did when I first used it. I filled it up where I needed it for the time being. And then I just, I don't know if you're supposed to do this or not. But when I'm done, I just leave whatever liquid is in it. And then add for the next time. Because it filters the water in as you go. Um, I haven't had any problems. Nothing's died or fried um, doing that. But I don't if that's the right way or not um but that's my way um but i used the last of that so i'm not feeding the new plant yet because they still have plenty of food in all the um in all the compost and stuff that i put in them when i planted so they don't need they don't need anything extra yet i don't want to murder them So that's all I'm doing this morning. It's supposed to be 80 degrees today. I think it's our last 80 degree day for fall, which I'm fine with. I like it when it's warm, but I'm ready for fall. And me and Olive were out here talking to mama on the phone earlier, got the rest of that butter lettuce in. Y'all have seen me do that, so I didn't film that. Um, So I got all the fall stuff that I started in them dirt. All right, so now let's feed everything. This has worked really good on my summer garden, tomatoes, peppers, all that. Um, and it's meant the miracle Grow feed for vegetables and flowers and all that in general. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. Shake it up, shake it up. And then it filters the water and let me make sure it's unlocked yep it's unlocked you can lock it where it's not gonna put any food i think that keeps it from i think that lets just plain water shoot out if you have it locked and then when it's open it lets the food filter through watch out olive it's gonna get you it's gonna get you and i just soak these down once a week with food that seems to do them well because um, again I, I'm not going to do it every day I'm 
And these are some bell peppers. I got an orange bell pepper growing. This one is orange and yellow, I think. And these are um, giant bell peppers, something like that. These were a little slow to grow, so I don't think I'll put them in this planter again next year. I don't know if it was um, how the planter is made or if it's too small for the roots. I don't know. I thought it was plenty big enough. Um, but we'll try something different for those big ones next year because all the other bell peppers did amazing um, in five gallon buckets. These are my little green onions. They've done well. I just kept putting seeds in here throughout the season just so they grow constantly. And these have done, I had some that got really big. And these, I think, because they're getting more shade under this pepper tree, they're not getting as big, but um, you can use them for chives and they'll keep, um, they'll keep growing. So I've enjoyed those this year. These are my lemon drop peppers. And these are just crazy growers. They are full of peppers. I've gotten, I don't know how many um, out of these. <laughs> and for the foreseeable future, we'll be getting them because there's a million. I learned that when they get this dark spots on them, that that's the pepper protecting itself from sun, something like that. But it doesn't end up affecting the yellow color once they mature. Um, so I learned something new with those. Olive, dude, you gotta chill, man. Then I was gonna, I think I mentioned this before, I was gonna um, rip this purple basil out, but I still have honeybees all over it. So I don't wanna rip it out yet if things are eating it. Butterflies will be getting on it too. I think next year, honestly, I'll probably plant this stuff, um, more of it, and just let it go flower. Um, for the bees and just do more of it because it's been awesome for the bees and butterflies they love it okay next olive next here's my okra it's still going strong I'll be getting okra for a while I did some oven roasted garlic uh, garlic okra this week and it was so good I'm gonna cook it like that from now on these are Carmen sweet peppers some of these have gotten super big super butterflies have been all over the place this morning and bees, I had uh, honeybees in my uh, tomatillos this morning too. These are habaneros. I just watered them a little bit. They don't need a whole lot. They don't get as hot if you water them too much. So they get watered maybe every, depending on the heat, like every couple of days or every few days. Um, when it's cooler, I don't have to water them as much. Kind of low maintenance. Got some getting ripe that I need to get soon. Alright. These are bell. Yep, bell peppers. Still going strong. Some more sweet peppers. Carmen sweet peppers. more bell peppers we got them coming out our ears I need some ideas for green peppers because today I'm gonna be slicing and freezing some and vacuum packing them for the later in the year but some of them I've let turn and then I roast them and put them in olive oil and they've been really good like in salads and eggs and all kinds of stuff but I need some more ideas give me some ideas more okra. I need to put some uh, wood shavings in this one. Maybe some more dirt because the roots are starting to grow up above the 
soil on here. I have one tomato plant left. This is one cherry tomato. It's about time to let this one go and have a tomato funeral. But it's still producing some. It's just slowing down a lot. But they still taste really good. All right, here's my poblano. I got four poblano, uh, three, three poblanos. Thought I planted four, <laughs> but one of them is a bell pepper plant. They're very deceiving when they're growing from seed until they get big and you're like, hey, wait a second. Some mums. Another, this is a sweet pepper. This plant has been giving me ginormous um, sweet peppers. I'm trying to find one. I think I might've cut it off, but they're just huge. These aren't that big, but this is the plant I'm getting the biggest ones off of. Oh, here's a couple. They're still not even close to being ripe. But they are massive. I don't know what the difference is because I feed them all the same. And you can see that one's pretty big too. It's starting to get some red on it. I don't know. See, learn as I go. Figure it out. <laughs> there goes Olive again. <laughs> This is usually my early morning routine before work, but I'm off today and I was planting earlier. So I didn't get out real early and do it, and it's gonna be hot today. I live, dude. You gotta chill. This is um, cayenne peppers, two cayenne pepper plants. So none of them have really started to ripen yet, but I tried one the other day and they are hot. But it's the heat that like hits you real quick and goes away pretty quick and they taste really good. And this one did like the weird super growth where it's just bunching together, but they're healthy. And then here's the tomatillos. This is about done too. I'm about ready to take this out, but they've done so well. Um, I read up on them when I was planting them and it said you need to plant friends with them that they don't self-pollinate like tomatoes do you have to have at least one other two others are better and then I had a fourth one just sprout up on its own um, from the roots which was kind of cool and the bees have loved these honeybees and bumblebees have just went crazy on this thing it's still getting there's a honeybee right there See if we can see it. They don't seem to mind that I'm here at all. Yeah, they're flying all over the place. They're so cute, little honeybees. Anyway, all right. So I'm pretty much done with watering with the food. This flower has rocked it this summer. It was a uh, um, impatient, and it hasn't stopped flowering since I put it in here. It's gotten so big. The bees haven't really paid much attention to it. I don't think there's much pollen to them, but they're so pretty. It did well through the summer and spring. I will definitely do more of these next year. Okay, I already watered those. So we're pretty much done with watering. And then I know I mentioned I was just doing the first round of the fall planting but I've got everything in now I did the last three butter lettuces earlier this morning and all the Brussels sprouts the broccoli and then I still have plenty of canary I still need to clean these and with soap and water and bleach and all that um oh there's a spider right in front of my face um sometimes containers can hold bacteria and things you really it can make the next plants that you plant in it sick um, so they always recommend that you wash them down with soap and water and a, a really diluted bleach solution. So these I still have to do that with. All the ones I used the other day had already done that when I took out the tomatoes and all that that were in it. Um, so that's all in. Everything looks really happy. I don't have any bug bites on these. Nothing's really munching. 
Um, the broccoli is coming right along. It looks really perky. Um, this is the butter, first butter lettuce I put in and it's really perked up and the leaves have definitely gotten bigger. Um, so they're doing great. I've never grown that before, so this is an experiment. This is one I just put in and watered. These I didn't obviously use any food in yet because I just planted them. So they have plenty of fertilizer and, and compost and goodies in it and I don't want to murder them. Um, so maybe the next couple of weeks I will feed them when I feed everything else. Um, they should be ready for an addition by then. Um, but we'll see. So that's it. And this is the other side of the tomatillos. It's really full. Um, I need to pick some up. I've had some fall off. But they're just not getting as big as they did at first. Like they're just kind of... These are just little babies. Um, so I'm just going to leave it till it starts looking real sad. The other side turned yellow and it's kind of finished. So I got rid of a lot of those limbs. Um couple weeks ago just so it wasn't it takes a lot of energy from the plant to try to support those dying parts that really aren't going to do anything anymore um and let's the other stuff that still could thrive and we've still had warm weather so I'm going to leave it as long as I can I always, it makes me sad to get rid of plants you get all attached to them they're your babies but there it is there's everything for today I need to get some habaneros off um, oh, and I need to get this other mum. Um, this side, I'm just going to have to get rid of this side because I don't think it's going to make it. And it's sick, I think. But this side, so I'm going to have to separate it. Um, but they're so pretty when they bloom. It was only $3. You can't beat that. Um, and that's it for now. Here's the other purple romaine. This butter lettuce is doing really good, but I did find a little baby army worm on one of these. It's been munching, so um, that worm is no, ver no longer with us. Um, but it did some munching. Um, you really just can't prevent 100% of that, and I don't, I'm not going to use pesticide. It's not worth it. Um, especially on lettuce. I mean, spraying the leaves you're eating, I'm just... I don't like that. And this broccoli's looking good, so that's it for now. Um, and then I'll bring y'all back for some pepper slicing and freezing later just to show you how I do it. I just made all, I think this is all the um, vacuum seal bags I'll need. I did some diced green peppers from the garden to get those put up. And then they're in frozen. They're already frozen and separated so they won't stick together. I already sliced some. These are ready to go in. Um, so I'm gonna do these quickly before they start thawing. And I'm just using a little Ziploc brand vacuum sealer. I've had this for years and it works wonderfully, beautifully. So I'm gonna do these real quick. I've already got one end sealed up, so they're ready to go in. I'm just doing this out in the garage. So what I mentioned earlier is I'll freeze these separately. Um, just so they won't stick together when they're bagged up so they're already frozen hard. I'll do that in a second bag. Probably because I'm trying to do it in the garage. Don't. What's going on? Sometimes if I don't get the bottom sealed right, it won't seal this bag well. Let's try to... Yep, that's the problem. It didn't seal on the end. I feel it. Let's do it again. So now it should 
vacuum seal this time. All right, got a bag done. Bell pepper slice is ready to go. Let's do one more bag for those. Yep, that seals good. There's some bees in here. Some small out quick cheese and rice. This little bag, I like doing them in small batches because Kevin doesn't really eat much peppers. I love them. Um, but I do them in small batches when it comes to sliced and diced. Ugh, this thing is getting aggravating. Alright. Ready to go. Stick these over here. So I'm going to do my dice ones next. And I'm just going to put all these in one bag so they're done and, oops, sorry, and in there together. So I got plenty more I can dice up so I'm not, not hurting for these. That's what I'll do with some of them. Like, I'll have a vine break off because I've got a ton of peppers on right now. Sometimes the dog will run out there and break one. I hit one of the branches with a water hose the other day and broke a branch off. And I had several baby peppers on there that just didn't get to grow up all the way, which is sad. Um, but I'll dice those up because I can still use them. Um, they just don't, they're just not very big. So, to give them a chance. Um, I'll dice them up and freeze them just to get them, give them a chance to be used. And I love to vacuum seal vegetables especially because they have much less chance of getting freezer bite. Alright, so I got the diced peppers in there ready to go to go back in the freezer. Which I'm going to take these back in so they don't thaw. Next. I'm going to vacuum seal my poblanos um, and get those done. These I just pulled out of the freezer. They are, can you hear that? Rock hard. Uh, so these, got a couple of big vacuum seal bags. I already got ready for them. And then we can use these for later. These aren't dihugic, so I probably won't use these to stuff. Um, but I'll use them in salsa or something like that. There's lots of uses for poblanos. Um, so let's get these frozen and then we're done. We're done for this round. Make sure I got a good seal on this. Yep. They're, they're really first. So these aren't going to stick together. Again, I did not, I didn't peel these yet. So when I thaw them out, I'll be able to peel them, seed them, use whatever I want them for. So they're in the bag. Let's see them. pretty and vacuum sealed and ready to use later. Um, I'm really thankful for tools like this where I can really save what I've grown throughout the season and use it throughout the year. Um, maybe next time I will show you all the goodies I have in my freezer already. Um, that's what I need to use. I have about a million hot peppers in there right now. So, um, But that's it. That's all I do. It's a great tool. They're really affordable. Um, so try to, well, I got it at Walmart. You can order them off Amazon, maybe 35 bucks. Um, you don't need anything really expensive to do the job. Again, I've had this same vacuum sealer for four or five years and it still does what I need it to do. But anyway, have a great day and thank you for watching and as always, happy gardening.